今天我们很荣幸邀请到了一位来自比利时的钢琴大师，他的名字叫 Olivier d e s p i g l e r 先生。Thank you, Alan. It's a real pleasure to have you here. A pleasure for me. So, can you tell us about your recitals? Usually, what's your recital like? So, I, first of all, I gave a concert with orchestra, but with mm -hmm. only one in Chengdu with uh, with a very young orchestra. They are not older than 35. Oh. Uh, very good orchestra, very fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then the other were uh, a piano recitals, so solo, but commented recitals. So I give some comments, I give some stories, mm -hmm. some poems, I see. some literature about the music. And of course it is translated in Chinese because mm -hmm. I, unfortunately I can't speak Chinese. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was very well done and um, I found that we are so far, 10,000 kilometers from Belgium, mm -hmm. but music can join the people together. Exactly. Music is like the universal language. Yes, right. universal is, is, is very uh, impressive. Yes, yes. And also, I've heard an, an um, like, um, opinion about, about piano before. Uh, it says that piano is like a s single instrument mm -hmm. that is capable of uh, expressing all the musical ideas. Do you yes. agree with that? Yes, of course. A violin is uh, the, the prettiest instrument, but the piano is the king of the instrument. King of the instrument, so... Um, One. <laughs> Excellent. So you, you master the king yes. of the instrument. Yes, yes, <laughs> because you can play everything and you can uh, let it sound like a violin, like a trumpet, like all orchestra. Oh, nice, nice. And also... Mm -hmm. uh, Mu piano, this music is also really a good approach to express high quality feelings, deep mm -hmm. emotions. Yes. Sometimes even better than language. Do you, do you think yes, so? Yes. Uh, there is a great uh, French composer, it was Claude Debussy, you know perhaps about him. Mm -hmm. uh, he died 100 years ago, so uh -huh. modern. But he said that music begins when the language ends. <laughs> Well, I like that phrase. Music begins when the language ends. Mm -hmm. and that's really true because you can't say anything with words, but with music you can say a lot of things. And I could yesterday I, mm -hmm. I listened, it was a master class in BCLU. BCLU, okay. And so I, I, I gave some lessons and ideas, but also I, I had a chance to listen to young students, uh, especially from PIPA. Pipa, it's a uh, Chinese traditional yes, musical yes, instrument. It was mm -hmm. wonderful, mm -hmm. and uh, it was uh, the music is different from the Western music, of course. The yeah. tones are different, mm -hmm. the scales and so. But the expression was very. Uh, I was uh, upset. Uh, it was terrible. It was the, the story of the old emperor who took out oh. his, his clothes. You know that. A very old story about a war uh, between two, two nations. Two kings, yes, and, uh -huh. and she, uh, it was a young pupil, a young girl. So you could hear the message, the story yes. from the playing of the, that instrument. It was terribly expressive and terri uh, terribly. Uh, uh, it, it took me very deep. I see. I see. So you go compare the like the effects. Of the music of piano mm. and the pipa, which one do you think is stronger? Oh, I, I don't think it's the instrument important. It is the the, the way that the musician how it's how it's played. Yes, how it's playing, how oh. it's uh, singing it with his instrument. And uh, I play Beethoven for her, and she she she's not crying, but she feels it, and she plays pipa and some old Chinese story in music for me, and I, I can feel it also. So mm -hmm. Music is above every word. I see, I see, yeah. yeah. And then the message continues, right? Yes, even though even yeah. there's no language, the message yeah. is all there in the music yeah. and it inspires you. Yeah. And even yeah. more, she, she, she told mm -hmm. she was practicing uh, since 10 years, four hours a day. Four hours a day. It's oh. a very, uh, a lot of work. Yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, there must I be, I guess, yeah. yeah. And also from your own personal experience, maybe you can give some really good tips, advice to Chinese piano lovers, piano learners, right? Uh, for, I'm, I'm not sure I can <laughs> give tips. For, for example, I'm, I, I, I love to learn 
how do you play piano, or how do you play the piano one day. But can you tell me when is a good time to start playing the piano? As early as possible. As early as possible. Mm -hmm. Because the hands must be, you know, the piano is not natural. Eh? Because mm -hmm. you have this, the, the, how do you call it, the, the keyboard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's equal. Yeah. It is. So, but the fingers are not equal. You mm. have a great one, you have two small ones, and then two middle. Yes, yes. So you, the hands is not, uh, head is natural. You have to put it on a certain way to make it unnatural. Unnatural, okay. You have, it's like a new habit you have yes, to form. Yes, mm -hmm. so uh, when you begin as a child, you are accustomed to do this. Uh, yeah, it's easier for a child, right? Yes. For a child is to, yes. to get a, a, a custom to it. Always a little kind mm -hmm. of sport. I see. Thank you, thank you. And um, can you tell us, in the first place, how did you get uh, get into you know this ah, passion for for piano? It's my father. My father was uh, uh, not professional. Uh, he was a designer, of a painter, mm -hmm. but he, he he liked to play on the organ. Mm -hmm. And then my sister, my, uh, my uh, she's older than me, she began to play the piano and then I said, I want to do this also. Uh -huh. So I was, I was seven and now I'm 57, so it's 50 years at the time playing the piano. Oh. Wow. <laughs> So. Well, that also shows how dedicated you are to this uh, instrument, to, to music. Yeah. Yes, surely. It's so important in my life. I play uh, three or four hours a day. Mm -hmm. But it's on not only You still pl play f three or four hours playing, a day? Yeah, yeah. Mm. But not only playing, it's also studying, dreaming, uh, reading. Not, uh -huh. not only the fingers are also mind. Because you need to get inspirations yes, right, yes. For, your, for your music. Uh, oh. For example, you can begin by learning the piece by hand mm -hmm. and then you begin to play it. Mm -hmm. So I take the, the score and I read it and I learn it mm -hmm. like a book. Like a book. I close the book and then I begin to play it. I see. So Usually how, how long how long is it going to take oh you to get, get, the, get the music from your head uh -huh. to your hands then oh. you will be able to play naturally and beautifully. Oh yes, it depends on the pieces. There are uh, very uh, pieces who are very easy to play mm -hmm. so then two or three days, but there are a pieces, some Beethoven sonatas, for example, takes six months. Oh, to be able six to months, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. half a year. Yeah, yeah, it can be more mm -hmm. uh, to play it as good as you want to play it. I see. So what, what do you think you are like the repertoire that you, that you my often play? My preferred uh, mm. is classical, uh, mm -hmm. especially Beethoven. Beethoven. Yeah. Ah. For me, that's the greatest. That the, the three greatest: Beethoven, uh, Bach, Bach, and mm -hmm. Mozart. Yep, yes, yes. Uh, Bach is more uh, religious music. Bach, mm. uh, Mozart is uh, genius. Very difficult because it's very light. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Beethoven, for me, is the the, the, the greatest one because he's very human. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a man who is uh, trying to become a god. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, Bach is already a god. <laughs> and Mozart is a, an angel, mm -hmm. but Beethoven is a man. He's human. Yes. Oh. He's human. Wow. So you are able to play all the music. So you oh are you are your pianist with really uh, wide nobody, repertoire. Nobody, but th there are so many pieces written for the piano that you can't play anything. You no. can't play all the things. It's there are too much. I think it's in too much life to you, you can't play everything. <laughs> it's too much for the piano. I see. So you still have to choose the ones yes, that you yes, that yes. really fits you. Yeah, yeah, mm. fits you, and uh, yes, and you play the best. I see. Do you know any like Chinese music that you sometimes uh, play piano? Not with? a lot. <laughs> I, so I confess, and I don't know a lot of uh, Chinese music, but I am interested. Oh, uh, so you heard some, right? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes. What was the impression of yesterday? The, the oh. What I heard because. Uh, I didn't know that it could be so expressive, you see, mm -hmm. because we have in, it's difficult to explain, uh, my English is not so, so good, um, in the French, and uh, no, no, the, the Western music, we have uh, scales and tones, we have major and minor tones and um, half tones also, and mm -hmm. it is, um, it makes a balance, a, a, a balance. Balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a balance. 
And in uh, Eastern music, you have the, the tones are very difficult, the chords are, are, are different. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean the same thing mm -hmm. for, for my ears because I'm, I'm accustomed for Western music. Western music, yeah. But the, the expression is equal. And mm -hmm. so it's very. I can't explain it now. I, I will. I uh, will <laughs> think over uh, uh -huh. because uh, every music, when it goes through the, the heart, it is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you understand. Yeah, yeah, totally understand. Yeah. So anything that uh, comes from the bottom uh, of your heart, that's yes. the true feeling that you're it's expressing. The same in painting. Yep. You can paint with something very n uh, nicely uh, uh, landscape. Mm -hmm. Uh, very classical. Uh, everyone can recognize what what you are painting, yep. and it's true. You can also uh, uh, paint something with colors and uh, modern art. Yeah. It can be true also. Yep. And uh, you can express yourself, and you can uh, be uh, uh, upset with this. You, you can uh, touch the people and the heart of the people with other signs. Mm -hmm. When it comes from the heart, yeah, yeah, you can you can and read that's it. That's the important in art. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what, any what language or any art language is good if it is true. Yeah. If it is sincere. Sincere, yeah, sincere feeling from yeah, from yeah. your heart. Yeah, right. yeah. And also, uh, like some modern arts, like abstract arts. Yes. It, it depends on how you look. Depends on the perspective, right? How, how you look at it. Yeah. So you can feel it, it, it is, if it is sincere or if it is not. It's, it's good, good. I totally agree. It's kind of the same with the music, mm -hmm. right? Um, sometimes people may have also uh, similar and also mm -hmm. a little bit different interpretation mm -hmm. from the music that you play. Yes, it, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it is, of course, different with the language because with the language, every uh, you mean something. Mm -hmm. A word means something, but a, a music doesn't mean something. It, it, it express something, it, it, it makes you dream, but it is not a meaning like a, a, a sentence. Yeah, it's not like a straightforward meaning, right? Exactly. It depends on how you, how you think ab yeah, ab about yeah. it, yeah. how that inspires you. Yeah. Excellent. And do you also know, you know, in China, there is a very famous Chinese pianist called Lang Lang. Yes, I know him. You know of him? Course, yes. <laughs> so what, what's, what's the impression of Lang Lang? Uh, it is extraordinary, uh, technical, perfect, mm -hmm. and uh, also very sympathetic, uh, smiling guy, <laughs> and not too proud, and so I like him. He's very young, of course. Yeah, yeah. and compare the style that he has with your style. What are some uh, differences oh. or similarities that you oh, think they I, are? I, I, I'm not the one who can tell that. Um, I'm older, you see, so uh, uh, it's different. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> I see, it's too abstract, right, sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Not easy to tell. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to tell, because every pianist uh, uh, believes in w what he's doing. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, it's not important to compare. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is unique, right? Yeah, one of a well kind. It should be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. But it's that that, that it's one makes especially good. Uh, yeah. I confess. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, can you tell us about your future plans that you have? My future plans. Uh, I c so tomorrow I have a concert here uh, mm -hmm. in Beijing. Um, and then um, the day after I fly back to Belgium, and uh, the day after I have a, a, a big concert in Brussels. Oh, and um, and then one month uh, resting, mm -hmm. and then preparing a tournée in Canada. Wow. I'm going there, Toronto, and Calgary, Ottawa, Vancouver. <laughs> wow. And I play uh, Debussy because it is the, the birthday of his death, because he died in 1900 and 1918, just uh, hundred years ago. Wow. It's a mm -hmm. great uh, French composer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, you're, you're really busy. Yes. And as for tomorrow's uh, concert, I'm looking yeah. forward to your attending. With great pleasure. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, before we finish up here, do you have any other words you'd like to say to our audience? Well, I thank you for listening. Mm -hmm. I thank you for, uh, uh, yes, your kindness and uh, 
I think Europe has a lot of things to learn here in China. It is a great country, great people. I thank you very much. Well, it's a real pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We wish you all the best. Thank you. <laughs>